Hello, doers. My name is Ignacio. Now, welcome back. In the other BOIP basics video, you saw me use VOIP to make a sale. But account executives aren't the only team at Stealthy Wood that uses VOIP to stay on top of things. Our support team also uses it so that they can stay stress free by having all the calling and help desk management in one place. Now, this means that when calls are received in the database to the support line, a widget will pop up in the help desk app where all customer management or helping of the customer takes place. And I can create a new help desk ticket all while controlling the call at the same time. Now, today, I'm switching hats from sales and I'm going to take you through my day as a support agent. So enough chit chat. I have a lot of tickets. Let's go. All right, Odoers. So here we are on the main dashboard of my Odoo database. Now I'm going to start by opening up my VOIP widget, which is this phone icon up here at the top. Now let's log into my call queue for the day. I'm going to select the keypad and you got to type in your agent connection code, which today is star five, five, two, nine, four. And then we got to press the green call button. And I can hear a one second recording that lets me know I'm logged in. A support queue is a pool of available agents that will take inbound calls. This way, no customer goes without assistance. Now, how I receive these calls depends on the way that my supervisor sets up routing options. I talk more about this and more in the call queues video, so be sure to check that out. So we're going to close out of here now, doers. All right, next up. I'm going to click into the help desk app to work on some customer support tickets because I am a customer support agent. So we're going to click into customer care team and we have this missing order ticket. It looks like this customer, Paul, wants me to call him ASAP. It must be very important. So let's get right on that. I'm going to go over to the chatter and click on activities. Under activity type, I'll choose call. And for our due date, I'm going to choose in our case, well, we're going to pick today. And finally, inside of the description, I'm going to leave myself a note and it'll be follow up about his missing stuff. Then I'll click save and I can see that the call shows up in the chatter. Perfect. And would you look at that? I have an incoming call right now, oh doers. And as you saw, oh doers, while we were reading through this ticket, an incoming call came through and it was from somebody that needed to connect to someone. After some diligent back and forth, we've learned this customer needs to speak with Stefan in another department. Very popular guy, this Stefan. So I'm going to transfer the call by clicking on the transfer button, typing in the correct extension, and then we're going to select transfer. And that's it. All right. Now, in our case, let's get back to the main attraction. Paul, we really want to help Paul. I want to give Paul a call today because it's a high priority ticket. I can either click on, as I've shown you before, we can click on his phone icon or we can also just open up the VOIP widget and look at my to-do list under next activities. Paul's name is on the list, so we're going to click on it and we're going to select that green icon right there to start our call. Let's see what we can do. Now, once that he picks up, I can log any internal notes I need to while I'm on the call as well. Or I can also start crafting a little follow-up email, something for him inside of the chatter over here. Paul is something of a digital nomad. How we know is because he told us. So he needs his address updated in our system again. I'll click the customer icon from inside of the VoIP widget just so that I can quickly open up his contact form. And since Paul is attached to Lumber Inc, I'll need to expand into the company to make the change actually. We're gonna put that in. And now I can click save. Great, thank you. Now, in a true Paul fashion, he also wants me to follow up again with a call in a few days. So once again, we are going to select the call. Well, actually, in our case, we're going to select the clock. Oh, doopsie. Under the activity type, we're going to select again to call him. And we're going to choose a date two days from now. Three, actually, because I don't want to bother him. All right, and now we're done. So let's assume we've been working on other tickets while we were helping Paul, because he always has a lot of very weird questions and stuff like that. You notice that we actually have another icon to the left of the schedule icon. When we click it, it allows for an agent to access the help desk ticket right from the widget. So if Paul needs help quick, I can actually look into the ticket right away. Now, how cool is that? This also works for all sorts of Odoo tasks. But at this point, we're going to discard this. And we're going to say bye to Paul. Goodbye. Because he is very annoying at this point. Now that we're all set, I can actually go back inside of this ticket and you'll see something else. Boom. It's our call. Got to do this in a couple days and it's shown up over here inside of the chatter. I can also see the history of all of the annoying calls that Paul keeps giving me. And I can have that for my own reference now. 
Now it's time for us to log off for the day. So we're going to go back over here, select our keypad, type in our special code, which is 562, and then two more numbers, 94. Give that a quick call, and it'll log us off on its own immediately. Now that's a day in the life of a support agent using Odoo VoIP. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in to the other tutorials for more. Until next time, bro doers. <laughs>